okay that's invoice generation okay this one and, <coughs> and domain invoice generation enter the number of days before the due payment date to generate invoice for domain renewals so if you want that set you can set that or you can just um, leave it empty for my case since I'm since I'm not offering domain registrations like selling it it's just a part of a package which comes free so I'm, I'm not going to set set that up okay payment email so uh, check this it's taken care of payment reminder emails yes we want to remind clients for the payment invoice unpaid rem uh, reminder that is seven days so it's pretty straightforward first overdue reminder you want to remind them again one day before the due date and if you want to set the second one and the third one that'll be fine as well you can set it here okay in here if you want at late fee days I don't want to charge late fees I'm gonna clear that so let's not charge late fees okay so bef because I've already set not to charge late fees on my general setup previously so this won't take effect okay but if you set late fees you can give your late fee days here average billing charges that is not related to my products or services as well so that's not going to take effect so I'm just going to leave it as it is now now let's move forward to credit card charging settings now because I am using PayPal so I'm going to skip the whole section because it's not really um, concerns me because I'm using a third party payment gateway which is PayPal so I'm not storing my clients credit card numbers in my system so I'm not going to set up those okay so I'm just gonna leave it empty currency um, I'm gonna offer only in US dollars for now but if you want to do multiple currencies and what do you want to do exchange rates and so forth you can also set those up here but for now I'm going to leave those empty as well since I'm not gonna use um, exchange rates or multiple currencies now let's move down domain reminder settings this is the uh, number of days you want to send a renewal notice to your clients for their domain name renewals so I'm not I'm, I'm actually going to disable this as you can see to disable it just enter zero because the system is gonna um, renew it automatically we don't want to send out emails which concerns people if and put questions in their mind if they do uh, if they have to do something we don't want to do that because um, our my system in this particular case is going to take care of all that so I'm gonna just leave everything zero to disable it I'm gonna put that zero that too this this and this okay close inactive tickets yes I would recommend to close inactive tickets for um, probably seven days if nobody's attending it so what's 24 times 7 let's just do a quick calculator 24 times 7 bam 168 hours so let's just close tickets which has not been responded in 7 days okay now the bottom part tick to tick this box to auto automatically terminate accounts with cancellation request when due yes update usage statistic yes so leave those and always remember to click save changes button okay 
I'm going to save this. Oops, forgot to switch back to Windows. Save changes. And that's it. So that's the automation settings, which is pretty straightforward. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And let's continue on the next video.